Hello, and um, welcome for well, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be covering the mo last project that I'm going to be showing you, the last demo. All right, so what are we going to be covering today? So, what are we going to be covering? T we are going to be covering our cr last project, creating a mug. See, a very nice mug. So we're going to be making this mug today. Nice, got the Tinkercad logo on it. So this project will be quite confusing, and I'll step it through with you. Um, I'll step. I'll go through it with you slowly, so then you guys don't get overwhelmed. So let's go ahead and start a new project. Go to your dashboard. I have all these designs, right? Let's go ahead and create a new design. And of course, Tinkercad gives you this really interesting name, Brilliant KZ. I don't even know what that is. So let's go ahead and just exit out and let's just say mug or final project mug okay final project mug now so you know how a mug looks like right like I just showed you it kind of like it's kind of it kind of looks like a truncated cone like a cone but then you slice off the top of it so let's go on ahead and do that so Tinkercad you, we're going to be going ahead and using not a cone. I mean, we could use a cone, but we could also use a paraboloid. So, actually, let's just go on ahead and just use a cone. It'll be a little bit easier to look at, but we can also use a paraboloid. Let's see. What do we think we should use? Let's go on ahead and use a paraboloid. So, drag out a paraboloid to the work plane. Drop it. Now, how big we make this will determine how big our mug is. So, let's see. Let's just make it... If you think about it, 50 millimeters is definitely big enough for a mug. Maybe... Uh, well, yeah, this is more of a model than an actual usage one. So, let's just make it 50 millimeters. Move it around to the center, just about. Let's go ahead and take a hole, a box hole. This is a box hole, right? A hole box. So, drag it out. Make it bigger. Remember, I'm holding that shift key to make the dimensions constant. Move this out of the way so you guys can see. And then lift it up. And then drag it over right on top. So, Tinkercad is nice because it lets you see what the ending product will be once you group, group them together. So, we're looking at right now a mug that kind of looks like this. I'm aiming for a little bit more up there. So, let's go ahead and... Whoops wrong mode okay let's get this up a bit just about there all right group everything together left mouse click drag you see this red rectangle get out group and there we have it take this and rotate it 90, and rotate it 180 degrees so you see this this is a vertical z-axis it's gonna flip it over so let's go on ahead and click this and then go like here 45 90 so we're looking for 180 whoops that's 179 let's just you can just uh, of course just click on this and then just type in 180 press enter and we're at 180 so it's perfectly on the work plane so now what we're going to do is we are going to put on some letters or some logos whatever you guys want to do I'm just gonna put on the Tinkercad logo so just go to symbols and I'm gonna put on the Tinkercad logo which is found right here I'm just gonna move this over to here okay so Tinkercad logo we're gonna move it right here this is the Tinkercad logo right so we're going to go ahead and actually for this logo cuz it's not it's actually quite shallow. I'm gonna use a hole. So I'm gonna go to basic shapes. Put in a uh no, sorry, a hole box. Not one of those. Delete that. Hole box. And I'm going to make it uh, larger. 
and I'm going to make it shorter. Maybe about four. And I'm going to move it right here to slice off the bottom part. Uh, right there. So then, so, so it's just right underneath, but you can still see the letters and still get a little bit of that tray around the letters. So that's it. I'm just going to group this all together. Group it. And then we have our Tinkercad thing. So, now, t this Tinkercad logo is a little bit too big to be put on the mug, of course, so I'm going to make this smaller. Hold down the shift key, go down to maybe, I'd say 20 is more than enough. So then we're going to rotate it up. We're going to rotate it like this, and and then put it right on here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Remember the Z-axis, we're going to go ahead and go to 90 degrees. Oops, that was 67.5. I'm just going to enter in 90. Okay, now it's perfectly vertical. We are going to put it onto here. So, move it up the z-axis a little bit, because right now it's just, it's below the work plane, and kind of eyeball it, look at it. Right about there is good. So, now we're going to move it along the x. Wow. Okay. And then get it right about there, and then now we're going to move it along the y. You can use your arrow keys. I'm just using my up arrow key to move it like this. And then use your left and right arrow key to move it. Select both objects and then use a line tool right up here. Or you can press L and then select this one. So now it's perfectly centered. Now get get out. And then we have to make sure that the logo goes all the way through, right? So we're going to select the logo and we are going to make it go out both ways into into the the um what you call it sorry into the cup base and out so like that okay and I think I just squished it uh, let me control Z that and go out oh I see what's the problem I got I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can change it later, it's fine. Just drag it out, and then from the front... Whoa! That's odd. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Sorry. Take this. Go in. And go out. There. Okay. Now I'm going to do alignment once again. Select both objects. Align. Go for that center right there. And we are good. Now... This doesn't what quite look like a mug in any respect, right? So, what we are going to do is we are going to select this, just this, th just the base. Remember, don't gr group these two together. We don't want to do that just right now. Take the base, go Control D or Control C and Control V. Control D is works well, and then that's duplicate. And then this is the tricky part. Hold down both your Shift and your Alt key. Alt can f be found to either to the left or to the right of the space bar. And let's go ahead and select this. And we're going to make it bigger. So you see, what this does is that it makes it have the same center, but it goes in and out by a, by, by a fixed... Um, so it makes your proportion stay constant. So this is the cup itself, right? And then, so then, let's make it slightly bigger than the cup. I'm just gonna make it like that. Okay, so, uh, this is what it looks like right now, and move it so that it's above the, um, the floor. So you see that zero, zero? That means it's, that means it's right touching the, the work plane right now. Okay, 
So we're going to actually make this object a hole. So go here, make this a hole. So make a right, uh, make a hole and keep it selected. Okay. Now select a uh, box. Sorry, no, you can't keep it selected. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Um, make it as big as you want. Doesn't matter. You can cover the whole work plane if you want. And then make this go up. So at least it covers your symbols. Whatever you have chosen to put on the side, at least it covers the symbols. So I'm just going to go right. Actually, just make it go above the mug. It's good. And then make it go like I just did it right here. And then select the box and just the hole that's poking up. Just the hole. Okay, this is important. Hold this down the shift key and select it. Then group those two objects together. Now you see a hole, and then you see a gap around what the base is right now, right? The actual cup. So we're going to, now, we are going to take everything and then group it together. Okay? Ready? So take everything and then group it together. Oops. Sorry, I, won f I forgot something. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're going to make the box with a hole in the center. Now, uh, a hole. Okay, so now you can see what's actually going to happen. Watch this. Group it all together. Select everything. Press group. Wow! Isn't that cool? You see, what just happened was that the box with the hole just completely cut off that part of the logo right here. The Tinkercad logo is right here. You see, that's why in the beginning I cut off part of the Tinkercad logo, part of the tray on the bottom, because it was too much. If I left it there and I had this tiny little cut, it might have obliterated the letters, because it might have just cut through the tray on the bottom of the letters. You get it? So I had to do that. So then now what I'm left with is the letters. So I'm just going to undo, Control-Z. Oops, sorry. Redo, Control-Y. And then, yeah, we're left with our perfect logo on the side. Nice looking, right? So now there's one issue. Where is the hole in the center of the cup? So let's go ahead and undo our actions. And now what we're going to do is that we are going to take another one of these. So to, uh, select the center base, and now we're going to make it smaller. So Control D, duplicate it, duplicate it as usual, but now, now make it smaller. So uh, Shift and then select the top one so extrude down and then just maybe 28 and then just and then now we're, what we're going to do is without holding any keys down just select this one until it pokes up above okay you see that and then what's next is that we're going to take this one to move it above so now what technically I'm doing is that I'm leaving uh, some material on the bottom of the cup right here okay so because I'm going to turn this into a hole. So once I turn this into a hole, then all the inside material of the cup is removed. And all I'm left with is that bottom and the sides. You see? Okay, now let's go on ahead and group it all together. Select everything, everything on the work plane, and group. All right, perfect. You see, we have the cup, we have the design. On the side, we have the Tinkercad logo. All we're missing is a handle because a cup needs a handle, right? So go to basic shapes on the right, scroll down until you see torus. This is a torus. So drag it out to the work plane. And then we're going to have to rotate it 90 degrees this way and 90 degrees this way. We're first going to rotate it 90 degrees this way. So take the Z axis rotation handle and then just go 90, enter in, so, uh, enter in 90, press enter, select the X1, and then select 90 again. So now we have the handle on the side, it's perfectly aligned, but now it's below the work plane. So what do we do? We take the move up handle, move it above the work plane. Now, so on the side, uh, I'm just kind of eyeballing it right now. The handle should maybe fit a little bit farther down, just right about there. That's good. So now we're going to go to the side and we are going to move it sideways. So kind of just eyeball it, and then we're going to go back over here. Whoops. We're going to go back over here, and we're going to move it this way. I'm using my left arrow key right now. And so keep on submerging it in the model. Don't worry about that. We're, we're going to delete that part of it later that's inside. You see it's sticking out from the inside right, later. 
So, but right now we're looking at a nice little handle shape, right? But, oh no, it's not perfectly aligned. So what do we do? Select everything, align. Oh, it is aligned, ha, okay. Yep, but if it wasn't aligned, then you know what to do, right? You just select this this one right here. But it's already grayed out, meaning it's already perfectly aligned. Let's go on ahead, Excel. Okay. Right? And then let's go on ahead, and we're going to ungroup this one again. Though this is going to look really confusing, because, yeah. So, what we're going to do is that we are going to take... Actually, sorry. Control Y and Control Y again. Oopsies. I might have to start over. I'll take this tour so I'm moving on. All right, so now the issue is we have to make sure that this right here is empty. So remember that we're going, so right now we're going to go straight back to our other design, and we're going to go straight back, click on this, ungroup, and so we have the box here, right? So for the box right now, um, so, so the box right now is cutting out the blue thingy, right? So we are going to... Okay, right, sorry. So what we're gonna have to do right now is actually play a play around a little bit with the grouping. So before we just selected everything on the work plane and grouped it all together. Now we're going to have to be a little bit more precise in our grouping. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the center hole object, press shift, select the base object, still pressing shift. And then finally, select that little sliver of the Tinkercad logo we see right there. So move it using your right mouse, click, and then select that tiny little sliver right here. You're going to have to be very precise. Left mouse click, and then now it's all selected. Now we're going to group it all together. Actually, sorry, one more thing. We're also going to have to group that big box. So group that big box, and select group. Okay, now you see we have it all together. Now what we're going to do is we are going to... Actually, sorry, I think I made a mistake again. Sorry. Uh, select this. No, sorry. Don't group that. So, select only the, the base. And then select the teeny little sliver of the Tinkercad logo. And then select the big box. Group it all together. There. Okay, now... We have this hole, and then now you can go ahead and select everything. And ready? Drum roll, please. Ta-da! Our mug is finished. Like it? See, it's perfect. There's nothing in it. See, there's nothing in it. It's chopped right off there. It's perfect. Okay, so this concludes all of the demos that I'm going to be posting. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.